Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to open a second form using your login form in your Eclipse Java GUI application. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can load your data in a J table uh, in this second form. So for example, you have this data in the table in the database, right? I want to show all this data in my J table in my Eclipse GUI. How can I do this? So I will start with uh, this video by just uh, removing this uh, label which I have uh, used in the last video and now my form employee info form is blank. Okay, so I will resize this form. I will resize this form and in here I will take a button to load the table and I will take a uh, j table okay so search for j table here it is and the trick of using j table in the form is just select this j table and then make a big square here okay otherwise if you just select this uh, table and dra uh, select here click here then it will not be visible so select your table and make a big square okay now what I'm going to do is I will right click my table so I will right click my table and surround my table with J scroll pane okay so right click once again right click the table and go to surround with surround with and then surround with Java X dot swing dot J scroll pane so I have surrounded my table by J scroll pane now what I can do is I can change the name of this button as uh, button load table or whatever you feel like and I will also change the text of this button as uh, load employee data for example okay you can even change the name of your table but I will uh, leave it as default so this table is inside your scroll pane right so whenever you s select your uh, table you will see the scroll pane because your table is inside the scroll pane right so now once you have these both things I will just double click my button and I will reach to the source code of this button action perform method but first of all I need to connect this form with the database right as I have I have done with login.java class right so we have connected this frame to the SQLite class which we have created so this employee info.java file also we need to connect with the SQLite class and how we can do it just go to our SQLite connection class and take all the import copy all the imports from here which is import java.sql.star import java x.swing.star and just go to your employee info form and paste these two imports here also the second thing I have done is I need to make the connection with the class so I need to declare the connection object so go to your constructor constructor of the class is the same name as your class name so just search for the method which has the same name as your class and this is my constructor just go above this and I will declare a connection to my SQLite class so for example so I'll write connection connection is equal to null so this is a connection object I made and this connection class belongs to the Java dot SQL dot connection class okay so you see here Java dot SQL dot connection class this class now go inside your constructor which is the same name as your class just inside and copy this connection object paste it here is equal to the name of your SQLite connection class my SQLite connection class name is SQLite connection dot Java which we had created earlier SQLite connection dot 
the connection method inside the connection class right if you have remembered now i will once again go to my load table and uh, just click this button once again and i reach to the action perform method of this uh, button click event and in here i will write the code so what i need to do is i need to write the code for uh, uh, this button action perform so what i am going to do is first of all is the try catch block so i will just copy the blank try catch block from here and inside this try block i am going to write uh, the code first to create the query and i will pass this query to the connection so i will write the connection query first so string which is query is a string variable so query is equal to double quotes and semicolon and here i will pass the query which is select star from your table name my table name in my database is employee info so i will write it here select all from this employee info okay now next in the next line i will pass this query to the prepared statement so i will create create a prepared statement prepared statement pst is equal to then take the name of the connection object which is connection from here which we have created above so connection dot prepared statement we need to write it here so just copy the connection dot prepared statement and just pass your query here okay so this query string will go here now we'll declare a result set result set and which will be my rs variable is equal to and then pst my prepared statement object dot execute query so this will execute the query and pass the result to the result set which is rs right now i will take the name of my table so first of all you once you have this result set you can load the table in different ways uh, and there this will be a long task to uh, load this table model or uh, to convert this result set into a table model and uh, load this so what uh, is the easy way of doing this is you can uh, download a class jar file which is free or uh, freely available on internet and i use this class to make my model for the table using this result set so i'm going to show uh, how you can download this uh, class just go to your browser and search for rs2xml.jar free download okay so search for rs2xml.jar free for download and the first link you will find here is from sourceforge.net okay so go to this sourceforge.net and i will just uh, pass or paste the link in the description so you can directly click this link and come to this uh, site and you just need to download this rs2 xml.jar and what this jar is it contains a class which helps us to convert our result set to our data model it's just like that okay so once you have this rs2 xml jar file in your downloads here so i have this uh, rs2 xml file here then what i can do is i can just go to my project explorer here and in this um, in this resources folder which i have created earlier which contains uh, sqlite jdbc or other jar file which i have uh, downloaded earlier i can drag and drop this rs2 xml in this resources folder just drag and drop there and once you have uh, dragged and dropped there and click okay this rs2 xml file will go into this resources folder 
now once you have this uh, rs2xml.jar in resources folder go to jre system library here right click this and go to build path and go to configure build path and in here in the library tab just add a jar which is there in your resource file which is rs2xml.jar file click ok click ok now this jar file is added to your project and you can easily use the classes from the jar file in your project once again in my button click event which is a load table button click event here I have written this code I have uh, created a query prepared statement and pass the query to this uh, connection prepared statement and this prepared sp statement I have executed uh, and I have this result set in this result set right what I can do next is I can copy the name of the table my table uh, name is let's see what is the name of my uh, the table so the table name was table here you see the table name was table okay so if you don't find the table name just go at the start of your class where uh, public class declaration is there your class name extend j frame and in here you will find your table name which is table right in our case just come to your button x and perform method here paste the name of the table dot add or not add but set model table dot set model if we have this and in here we will paste our model so what this jar will help us to use this um, result set to convert our model so what we can use is db utils this db utils is a uh, is a class inside this rs2 xml right so just hover over this and you will find or let me pause the video and see okay so this db utils is a class inside this rs2 xml jar file so i will just write this db utils like this so just write db utils dot result set to table model okay and this db util first it will show an error and when you hover over this db util so just go and uh, hover your mouse above this error for dbutil and you will see you need to import this uh, net dot protein net dot sql file so just click this uh, import here just click this and what this will do it will uh, import this uh, class in here so net dot whatever this uh, is called pro t e a n i t dot s q l dot d b util it will import this and then your error in the button action perform will go okay so now you you have converted with the help of this class your result set into a model which your table takes and then this result set will be converted to model and then you can run your program now I will run my program once again connection successful username and password I will give the username and uh, the password login successful and then I can see the second form and when I click this load table just see here what happens it says something let's see what is the error so I will look at the error SQL error SQL error for missing database okay so I know why we are facing this error I have created this connection class I think but yeah I'm doing this also so I, let me find the error and I will come to you okay so I found the error my query here is wrong 
I have written select star form. It should not be form, but from. F R O M. Okay. So now I have corrected this query, which is select star from. It's not form, but from your table name. Once again, I will run the program. And I will see this second form. And when I click this load table or load employee data, I see my data from the database in this table, right? So I will uh, check with my original database, which is this one. And you can see here the data matches. Employee ID 1234, name Mark, John, Julie, Peter, age 35, 25, 30, 21. You can see here. 35, 25, 30. So I have this data in the table. Okay. But for example, for some reason, you don't uh, want to show a username and password because uh, whenever you click this button, it's also showing username and password. But you don't want to show it. What you can do, you can change the query which you have written here, select star from employee info instead of star which uh, which query all the data instead of star just try select and whatever column you want to select so for example you just want to show eid name surname and age just select these column names so just write select eid comma name comma surname comma age for example okay select all the name separated by comma select EID name surname and age from your table name and once again run the program and now when I load this I will only see EID name surname and age which I have passed here EID name surname and age right so in this way you can load your data in J table from your database. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.